spit the drama, barely means nothing to me. I ride by and blow your brains out. Brains out. There's no time to cock it. No way to stop it when niggas. Cocksucker, this shit rap. Check my rap sheet. I feed you to the rats with peanut butter on your feet. 44 Bulldog. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest force of sports. Welcome to the fire range. When you get in line and you get lined up, you understand me? Today's victim, my next target, is the Raiders as a staff, label, and motherfucking crew. Okay, I'm about to give Derek Carr a real reason to cry because I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I'm going to undress him. He needs to be exposed. I'm going to shine the light on him. But before I do that, I need to address Mark Davis, the owner of the Raiders, because he's a bum, literally and figuratively. How you so poor, you can't fire your head coach? Word on these NFL streets is the only reason why Josh McDaniels has a job after losing to a dude who was fresh off his couch in Jeff Saturday is because Mark Davis can't afford to pay him his contract. That's pathetic. I know we joke as fan bases, we joke as people, and we say, oh, this team's a poverty franchise, that team's a poverty franchise. No, the Raiders are really a poverty franchise because they broke. They eating mayonnaise sandwiches over there. Okay, they can't afford Kool-Aid, soda, or Gatorade. They drink water out the faucet. Okay, they, they, they got hoses out there they drink water out of. They can't even afford the Sony and Aquafina bottles. They got to get the water hose. They poor as fuck. Okay, this is an embarrassment. This is an embarrassment. You get all these pieces on defense. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got Crosby and we got Chandler Jones. We gonna be the shit. You get all these pieces on offense. Wait, 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 wait. Devontae, you re-sign Renfro. You give Wilder a bag. You gonna be nice. And you stink. You stink. Don't make no excuses for Josh McDaniels. He stinks. And Mark Davis, you're the reason that all this stinks. Because the common denominator and why you continue to fall in your ugly face is Derek Carr. Has anybody ever stopped to wonder why the Raiders are trash? Doesn't matter if it's Del Rio. Doesn't matter if it's Gruden. Doesn't matter if it's Josh McDaniels. Doesn't matter if it's an intern coach. The reason why the Raiders are habitual losers is because of their quarterback. The quarterback is trash. How many coaching regimes, how many general managers, how many changes do the Raiders need to make until they realize their problem is the quarterback? He's the common denominator. Make it make sense. I've never seen a dude be in the league for almost a decade. He's been in the league for nine seasons, and he has two double-digit win seasons. He has more contract extensions than he has double-digit win seasons. Make it make sense. Somebody got to make sense of this. Derek Carr is not good. He's had one 30 touchdown passing season. That's it. That's it. He not good. Amari Cooper blossomed when he left him. D Devontae Adams has been, of course, since he got him. The biggest mistake of Devontae Adams' career was going to play with Derek Carr. His sorry ass. Crying in the press conference. Talk about some I believe in this team. We got to have faith. You two and seven. Shut your bum ass up. And this ain't the only time he done cried in the press conference. Remember he cried in the huddle a couple years ago? Had to throw him in the firing range for that. Crying in the huddle. <laughs> they won't block for me. <laughs> Shut your bitch ass up. Over there crying like a little baby. Men like him don't deserve pussy. Men like him need to be held accountable. Men like him do not deserve pussy. They don't deserve it. I'm blaming his wife. This is his wife's fault because she continues to give him pussy. Because real men who have to go home and look their wives and kids in the eyes don't act like this. What's wrong with that household? He acts like this because he's allowed to get away with this. You think... Mrs. Fitz Vegas would give me pussy if she turned her television screen on and I was crying like a bitch. It wouldn't happen. Women, you need to hold your men accountable. When we buy cars, we buy clothes, we get money, we act tough, we do all this to impress y'all. You need to use the power that God gave you. God gave you looks, pussy, and soft skin to influence the will of man. 
Okay, it's been happening since the dawn of time. Eve talked to Adam into eating the apple. He wanted some pussy. Adam wanted some peace and quiet. So he ate the apple because she was probably bitching. She wasn't giving no pussy. Adam said, give me the damn apple. He ate that shit and now we got what we got now. Okay? So I'm I'm, 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 I'm calling on Derek Carr's wife to hold him accountable. He should not be able to come home and have a happy life after being this pathetic, making all that money. It's a damn disgrace. Gave that man a contract extension for what? He has no accountability. Because every time the Raiders lose, somebody, some head coach gets fired, some general manager gets fired, Amari Cooper, Khalil Mack get traded. It's always somebody else's fault. They never blame Derek Carr. That's why he acts the way he acts. This is why. Nobody holds him accountable. How much weapons do you need? Devontae, Hunter Renfro, Darren Waller. Josh Jacobs. What else do you need, bruh? You got Daniel Jones, Lamar Jackson. Aaron Rodgers has a better record than you. The, this is bad Aaron Rodgers still has more wins than Derek Carr. There's other quarterbacks in the league doing way more with way less than him. Justin Herbert putting in work playing with randoms. When's the last time Keenan Allen and Mike Williams played? When? And, Derek, and, and Justin Herbert still putting in work. Jacoby Brissett winning more games than this bum right now. It's sad. Taylor Heineke has won more games this season than Derek Carr. And he ain't even been starting the whole fucking year. Put this in context. You just lost. Derek Carr just lost to the corpse of Matt Ryan and Jeff Saturday, who was fresh off his couch. Derek Carr let that happen. No, 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 no. Fist Vegas ain't blaming Josh McDaniels for that because when the Raiders win, they want to slurp Derek Carr. So when they lose, I'm gonna hold Derek Carr accountable because that's how this that's how this league works. It's a quarterback driven league, which is why I scream from the mountaintops and defend Daniel Jones every chance I get because it's a quarterback league. You don't give Saquon the credit. You don't give Brian Dable the credit. You, you give that credit to Daniel Jones. So on the flip side, when your team is losing, when your team stinks, you give that blame to the quarterback. Aaron Rodgers, do better. Derek Carr, do better. Because if the Raiders was winning, everybody would be slurping Derek Carr. They slurped Derek Carr last year. Derek Carr was getting his dick sucked last year. And look at this. Look at the stats. Dude threw 23 touchdowns last year and 14 picks. And was getting slurped like he was some good dude. Dude had like two, three hundred yard passing games all year last year. This bum, Derek Carr, has had six opportunities to win the game in the fourth quarter this year. One's versus the Chargers, one's versus the Cardinals, one's versus Tennessee, one versus the, the, the Chiefs, one's versus Jacksonville, and one versus the Colts. He lost every single game. He had a chance to tie a win in the fourth quarter. He lost. That's six times. You 0 for 6. You the epiphany. You the, you the opposite of Jordan. Jordan went 6 for 6. You went 0 for 6. You got as many game fuck-ups as Jordan got rings. It's pathetic. It's sad. It's sad. You pay that man his money, and he wets the bed week in, week out, and he goes to the podium and cry like a hoe. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I, I, I ain't got nothing else to say. The dude has blown the game six times in the fourth quarter and has had four 17-point leads and has lost every single one of those games. Your owner is too broke to fire your head coach. And every first-round pick you've had the past four seasons ain't even on the team no more besides Josh Jacobs. What else do I need to say? Nothing else needs to be said. Everybody in Oakland, Vegas, or wherever the fuck you from, Come to the front, turn around, put a smile on your face, and take these motherfucking shots.